Hey guys, Vera Sweeney from Lady in the Blog, and we are going to do a really quick um, flower ring. So let me just show you. I just picked some really bright colors to play with. You pretty much need um, four colors, so pick whatever you like. You can make this in about five minutes, so this is a really good one to do if you just want to do something quick with your friends, if you're having people over, or something for your daughter. Okay, so first up, and P.S., I broke my hook. And if you ever break your hook, you can just go to Michael's and get a crochet needle, and it's the same exact thing. And it's metal, and it's actually better. Okay, so right down the middle, you want to put two... Uh, I'm just going to use green. And then we're going to make um, just like a little octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, or a hexagon. A hexagon, not an octagon. So, uh, but we have to do the center. So you put one, two, and now come up with two different colors. So I'm going to make pink. So I'm going to do it pink. Let's see if I can do it this way. So that's one, two. And now come in with two different colors. So you're going to come in with, with whatever colors you'd like. One, two. But then from the outside, you want to pull up with additional pinks. Right? Now from the center peg, you want to pull you want to pull in with two different colors, two more different colors. So I'm just using white. And now you want to end your pink. You want to close out your pink. Pretty simple. Two more greens to finish the ring. Really simple, really fast. So here we are. Here, here's how we end up. So you have two greens a circle of pink, um, a V of one color, a V of another color, and then two more greens. That's pretty much where uh, we want to be. So then you flip your board, uh, your loom around so that the arrow is facing you. So it should look, you know, the, the hole should be facing you, and now we're going to, we'll, we'll loom it. Let me see if I can do it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so first... We'll loom the green onto the green. And then you always want to start from the bottom. So whichever bottom you went to, mine happened to go to the left, you go that direction. So get your bottom uh, ri um, rubber band and go whichever direction it, it correlates to. And then do the other side. Now I'm going to just pick this side here and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and my all the way bottom is the pink. Then my next bottom is the white. White goes to the center and then over here my bottom is the pink. Next bottom is center. And you can drop your loom like I did. Okay, now get all the way down here. What do I have down here? My bottom one goes to the left which, by the way, my camera is mirrored, so you probably don't think I know my lefts to my rights, but it's backwards. My camera is backwards. So I went my left to my right, so I put my purples out, and now I'm going to come here and get my bottom pink 
and push it forward. And then my other pink and push it forward. And now I'm going to go all the way down here and push forward my green. Bless you. And then push forward my green. And then your C clip comes out. And you want to tie your C clip to this and pull everything off. And then tie it to the other side. And you have another ring. Super easy. And let me tell you, if there's a little variation, like, you know, sometimes it, it just looks slightly different than, than the other ring, it doesn't really matter. They're all pretty. I mean, the, the rings are, are really easy to make. You can do it. Um, in no time, great gifts to give to friends, play around with the colors, have a really uh, good time. Perfect for the spring, but I mean, literally, you can do it with, with, with any colors that you have. And uh, 